Hello folks. Well, I've been flying radio controlled helicopters for a very long time. Tonight we're going to talk about wobble on a helicopter and some of the factors that can cause it. In fact, this is the actual first production electric helicopter called the Skylark EH-1. It was manufactured by Ishimasa in Japan, which is now Kyosho. It was pretty primitive with a genuine rheostat sliding arm on the resistor uh, used for speed control. There is no gyro in it and it has this smooth drive belt on the back. It ran on two inefficient 500 brush can motors right here and a heavy 9.69 NICAD battery for about three minutes. You could also fly it on a tether and a 12 volt battery. I show you this because note the blades are rigid and absolutely perpendicular. That's because they use two bolts here to uh, mount the blades on it so they won't fold. And because the head speed was only about a thousand RPM, uh, if the blades were allowed to fold, they would wobble much more. You may have seen the video I made on this last year. It never wobbled. Some pilots have different terms for that, but us old guys call it wobble. Now this is a modern helicopter. This is a T-Rex 500 and uh, it has folding blades. I'm not sure the real reason for folding blades except that it's easier to put in the car and, pre and to prevent damage if you hit something. Well in my experience uh, I always damage everything when I hit something. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the blades fold or not including my foot. So this is the way it was explained to me by the experts back in the day. Well, I learned plenty from John Simone Jr. though in the past, as he was the national helicopter champion at the time, especially about blade tracking and how not to kick a helicopter. <laughs> so the 33 years I spent in the Marine Corps and all the helicopters that I worked on, CH-46s and CH-53 Echoes, all the blades, when they unfolded, they locked in place. So they are perfectly perpendicular and they don't wobble around when you start them up or slow down. So you see even with perfectly manufactured blades and perfectly balanced with head speeds around 1250 the blade that is advancing into the wind gets slightly pushed back like this making it not perpendicular with the other blade as you can see here. Okay, the retreating blade usually remains perpendicular to the head, but this one being pushed by this wind gets pushed back slightly. This is at low speeds. This allows the rotor disc to be slightly out of balance and that causes this wobble. If you ever start your helicopter up like this, it wobbles around until these blades get out. So you know what I'm talking about. So if you put it in 3D mode, this thing starts spinning around 2600 RPM. Centrifugal force straightens out this blade and your wobble becomes less pronounced. That's because the centrifugal force is so high. It stays closer to actual alignment and perpendicular. So it doesn't wobble where you can see it. Of course, when you're flying with low head speeds, the more wind blowing, like around here in Sibley, the more wobble. So the rotor shaft and head is all being turned by your motor, and it's being turned this way. And as it's coming around this side into the wind, the wind pushes on this blade slightly depending on the amount of wind and that bends it back a little bit just a little as it's trying to turn it into that wind of course once it gets completely on the other side centrifugal force will hold it out again 
pretty evident in my flying tonight where I fly at about 1300 RPM and then I go to 2600 RPM in 3D mode. I really don't like to fly in a heavy wind, but helis handle it fairly well. Much better than the camera can handle the wind noise, which is another reason I don't like to make videos in the wind. So I'm going to fly this T-Rex tonight in heavy winds and show you what I'm talking about, about wobble. Not too windy. Perfect flying weather. The battery I'm using is a Turnigy 5 amp, 18.5 volt. I've got it here beside a small 250 milliamp battery, one cell, so you can see the difference in size. Here's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. This is only about half throttle as it's not in the 3D mode and the blade is being pushed back and not perpendicular in the wind. Now when I turn it up to throttle hold in 3D, the centrifugal force will smooth it right out. See that? No wobble. So before I fly this thing again, I'm going to tighten down the bolts on the blade grip so the blades won't be as loose as they are. That'll help to wobble quite a lot. Okay, I've taken off the 3D mode and now it's back to a low head speed and you can see it wobbling around here. Of course on a calm day there would be no wobble at all, or very little. I could eliminate that wobble if I had two bolts in it and they were both perpendicular. But the blade holders and blades don't allow for that anymore. Here I'm taking off in high speed, you can see there's no wobble give you an idea again what you can do when it's in 3D mode and how smooth it really becomes. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and make sure to click the bell.